This is Fan First Network. Ah, uh, that did not go according to plan. Leafs in six now. What went wrong today? Uh, I mean, what went wrong? I mean, they score early on and they give up a goal uh, in that very next shift. You know, you can't allow that to happen. But, uh, but took no, all the energy out of the building, man. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I thought the energy was good in the building. Regardless, I just think uh, you know that's a tough goal to give up. But other than that, I thought the I thought the boys played well. Um, you know. They're up 3-1. Well, we're up 3-1, now 3-2. I think the boys have tons of opportunity to close the series out. Uh, they're a completely different team than last year and the year before. I got good faith in them. Okay, so you're not worried. You think we still got this series? I mean, you can't be worried, right? You can't be worried in, in, a, in a time like this. I mean, it's playoffs. Anything can happen, but uh, but not at all. I don't think I'm worried. Okay, Matthew, uh, Matthew Nice and Michael Bunting getting in my brain here. Michael Bunting did not play today. Keith left him out. Would you bring him back in for the next game? Uh, I mean, I think so because obviously the fact, uh, you know, obviously he got suspended in game one and then they went on a three-game winning streak, so you can't break the lineup up that's winning. Um, obviously today it didn't go as planned, uh, but I think you got to put him back in. For Matthew Nice, I don't think so. I think Matthew Nice has been a, a hell of a player for us so far. Um, I think maybe the one guy you might want to pull out would be Sam Lafferty and put Bunting in, but again, he's going to be on the fourth line. I think refs are going to be looking for him, so I don't think uh, I don't think he should be playing a ton of minutes just based off the referees, but I mean, I also think he's a game changer and he can help the boys out. I think you're exactly right. I don't want to see Matthew Nyes leave this lineup ever again, Coach ever the again. Coach the never right again, here. never again. Matthew Nyes, uh, Matthew Nyes is... Uh, Hell of a player. Watched him in uh, in training camp for his last two years. Obviously went to Minnesota, did what he did. But I think he's a phenomenal player, and I don't think he comes out whatsoever. Okay, and last thing for you. What do the Leafs need to do differently, game six, to win that game in Tampa? Uh, I mean, man, they just you just you just got to understand what uh, you know. Don't like Tavares said. Don't let the pressure overcome. The, uh, don't let the pressure overcome with what, what the situation you have in hand. You know, the pressure's all on Tampa Bay. You know, they, they won two Stanley Cups previous, lost in the Stanley Cup Finals last year. I think all the pressure's on them. I mean, uh, at the end of the day, you know, Toronto just has to go out and play their game. We saw in game four, or three and four, they didn't play the best, but they still won the game, so Agreed. they up winning. I just think, you know, if they play their game for 30, 40 minutes of the game, anything can happen, man. Okay, we won those two games, you're right, but we got outplayed in both of them. Does that worry you? Honestly, yes, obviously. Obviously, if you get outplayed, it should worry you. But, um, but I mean, the fact that, you know, we're not the team blowing the 4-1 lead or, you know, we're not the team that, uh, you know, that, that can't handle the situation. It's good to see that the trades that Dubas made, and I, and I do agree with all the trades that Dubas made. I think, I, think, uh, I think it's a good thing for the boys, you know, a little bit of adversity, so be it. Like you said, we didn't deserve game three or four, and we still walked out of there with a win. So at the end of the day, as long as they play their game, we got a good game. We got a good damn, good goddamn shot at the championship. Here. All right, man. Let's hope Leafs in six. Leafs in six. Thank you. This is Fan First Network.